I have removed every single goaltender from the NHL. That is right, boys. The net is going to be a goal scorer's dream and exactly like it was back in the 1980s, wide open. I mean, let's be honest here. The shooters were basically shooting at an empty net back then. The goalies were not near as good or athletic as today's goalies. But basically what I've done is I've gone ahead and made every single goalie in the NHL a 36 overall, their starting goalie to be exact. But basically what I've done here is I've went through the entire NHL and made every single single starting goalie a 36 overall well really he's a zero overall because everything's a 36 every single attribute is literally the worst it could be possible and we are going to go ahead and we are going to simulate multiple seasons to see how differently that affects the nhl now we did do this last year in nhl 23 and it was a very fun video to make so i decided to bring it back and see how different it is in nhl 24 compared to 23 i've also gone ahead and turned auto rotate goalies off so the starting goalie who is a 36 overall should play the entire season every single minute of it he should not get pulled and he should start every single game of the regular season and the playoffs of course now before we simulate if you guys do enjoy videos like this make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more nhl content just like this and now let's get into the video so at the end of season number one the pittsburgh penguins and the vegas golden knights are going to end up winning 73 games pittsburgh went 73 6 and 3 meanwhile vegas went 73 eight and one that is crazy by far the two best teams in the entire nhl they're basically the 2016 golden state warriors the edmonton oilers are up there colorado is pretty good dallas carolina buffalo at the bottom we have the montreal Canadiens, san jose st louis arizona and chicago i mean this is all to be expected all of these teams are not very good whatsoever nikita kucherov is going to lead the entire nhl in goals with 108 and points with 225 points a goal scorer's delight in the NHL. Followed by McDavid, who also had 225. Dry Settle had 217. Matthews, 204. Pasternak was up there. Kaprizov, Marchand, Patrick Kane. We already know he sims very well in this game. Now, for the goal side, other than Kucherov, Rantanen had the most at 100. Followed by Dry Settle's 98. Matthews had 93. Kaprizov had 90. Pasta was up there at 87. For defenseman, Roman Yossi's going to lead in scoring with 183 points. Followed by Eric Carlson's 176. John Carlson was up there as well as Rasmus Stalin, Kale McCarr, and Quinn Hughes for the goalies. As it looks like Stuart Skinner is going to be the most winning goalie in the NHL with 46 wins. He had a 798 save percentage and a 655 goals against average. And the worst goals against in the entire NHL was none other than Peter Mrazek with an 874. And for the worst save percentage, I believe it's going to be also Peter Mrazek. So Chicago, Samsonov was bad, Jake Allen bad, John Gibson, Bennington, Vanacek, all the starters were bad. And here is our playoff matchups in year number one and to the surprise of absolutely nobody we have in the stanley cup finals the vegas golden knights and the pittsburgh penguins by far the two best teams in the entire nhl they both won 73 goddamn games which is an nhl record but let's see who's gonna go home with the stanley cup in year number one and the pittsburgh penguins are gonna dominate vegas in the stanley cup finals in four games it was a clean sweep it was not even remotely close in any single game of the series i mean the close out game was like a 5-1 or 5-2 victory for Pittsburgh so a trio of Latang, Crosby and Malkin are gonna get it done one last time this might be their last dance boys who knows maybe they dominate the rest of the entire simulation we never know really as if Genny Malkin is gonna take on the con Smythe 14 goals and 32 points a very good season a very good playoff run by him he also won the con Smythe back in 2009 when he put up 36 points and there it is the Stanley Cup being raised in Vegas yet again but this time for the Pittsburgh Penguins as they are going to go all the way after winning 73 games in the regular season 16 in the postseason and there is Crosby lifting the Stanley Cup for one last time at least one last time in his NHL career Now for the playoffs, Kirill Kaprizov is going to lead in goals with 20 and points with 34. Zuccarello was up there with 33. Malkin had 32. Crosby, 31. Tate Thompson, 31. Jason Robertson had 28. So a lot of goal scoring and a lot of point scoring in the NHL playoffs, of course. Connor McDavid is going to take home the Ted Lindsay and the Hart Trophy, while the Art Ross and Maurice Richard are going to go to Kucherov, the Norris to Eric Carlson of the Pittsburgh Penguins. Obviously, the Conn Smythe went to Evgeny Malkin. The Vesna is going to go to Soderblom on the Chicago 
Chicago Blackhawks. I mean, there was really no good goalie in the NHL this season. And the Selkie is going to go to Alexander Barkov of the Florida Panthers. So at the end of the second season, we actually have three teams that won 70 games in the regular season. That would be Vegas, Carolina, and Pittsburgh, all winning 70 straight. Vegas was the best team, only losing eight games in regulation and four in overtime. So they got the most points, 144. Edmonton was up there. Buffalo, Dallas, Minnesota, Colorado at the bottom. We probably have the same teams we do. Hunter McDavid's going to lead all skaters in points with 228. Followed by Leon Dreisaitl's 209. Kucherov at 203. Kaprizov, 199. Robertson was up there. Nylander had a very good season. McKinnon, Jack Hughes, and Kyle Connor now for the goal side. Matthews is going to lead with 97. Followed by Kaprizov's 94. Kucherov had 93. Of course, Robertson and Ovi were up there. Kyle Connor passed had a good season. Dreisaitl and McDavid. For defenseman, Eric Carlson's going to lead with 174 points. Josh Morrissey came in second place with 163. Dougie Hamilton was good. Quinn Hughes had 160. Roman Yossi, 156. Kale McCarr, again, does not simulate very well. Even with no goalies in the NHL, he's only going to score 31 goals. That is insane. And Darcy Kemper is going to end up having the worst save percentage in the entire NHL with a 750 save percentage. And for goals against average, the worst is going to be Mackenzie Blackwood with 8.27 goals a game. There's actually multiple goalies that allowed eight goals per game. That is insane. These are literally the worst goalie stats in the history of goalie stats. And here we go yet again. This is our playoff bracket in year number two. And the Vegas Golden Knights are going to get the revenge over the Pittsburgh Penguins because of last season where they got dominated in the Stanley Cup Finals. This season, it's a different story as Vegas is going to defeat them in six games in the Finals. It was kind of a back and forth series. Vegas went up 2-0. Pittsburgh came back. And then Vegas reclaimed their throne as they are going to go on and win the Stanley Cup here in year number two. We have a battle of the absolute demigods. Two 70-win hockey teams, which is insane. William Carlson is going to take home the Conn Smythe. 11 goals and 29 points. A very, very good postseason by him. Does anybody remember when this guy scored 40 goals at one season? I believe it was the expansion season that Vegas, their very first year in the NHL. And here's Mark Stone yet again lifting the Stanley Cup for the very first time in the video, but the second in his career as Vegas are yet again Stanley Cup champions. Sidney Crosby is going to lead all skaters in points for the playoffs with 30, followed by Kaprizov's 29, despite the fact he only played 16 games. He also had 19 goals. Carlson at 29. The other Carlson at 28. Mark Stone was up there. Zuccarello, McDavid, Chandler Stevenson, and Jack Eichel. Connor McDavid is going to take home the Ted Lindsay, Art Ross, and Hart Trophy, while the Maurice Richard is going to go to Matthews, the Norris, yet again to Eric Carlson. Obviously, the Con Smythe is going to go to William Carlson, the Vesna to Casey DeSmith. The Selkie will go to Connor McDavid. David. So at the end of year number three, the Carolina Hurricanes are going to finish as the best team in the NHL, winning 75 games, an NHL record. Nobody has ever been better. Followed by the Oilers, who won 73. Arizona won 70 games. No way the Coyotes are the third best team in the NHL, winning goddamn 70 games. Pittsburgh was up there. New Jersey, Colorado, the Rangers, Seattle, and the defending champs in Vegas. Only won 41 games this season. Kucherov is going to continue to dominate the NHL lead leading in goals with 101 and points with 208. Followed by McDavid's 206. Dreisettle had 199. Johnny Hockey was up there with 199. Kaprizov, McKinnon, Pasternak. William Nylander, who's playing his ass off in real life, is going to finish with 187 points. Now for the goal side, other than Kucherov, Kaprizov's going to have the most at 87. Patrick Laine was up there with 86. Unfortunately for him in real life, he's injured, and he's not been doing very good lately. He even got healthy scratched at one point this season. Dreisettle, 86. Matthews, 84. Matthew could Chuck had 82 and Kyle Connor 81. Finally, Kale McCarr has awoken. He's going to lead all defensemen in scoring with 160 points. Followed by Josh Morrissey's 152. Roman Yossi had 149. Dougie Hamilton was up there as well as John Carlson. The worst save percentage in the NHL was Demko with a 752, and the worst goals against was also going to be Jake Allen who allowed 8.37 goals per game. It's kind of weird seeing Demko being way down here considering in real life he's literally like the Vesna favorite. And this is our playoff bracket for year number three and in the stanley cup finals we have a rematch of 2006 between the oilers and the hurricanes i mean a couple weeks ago the edmonton oilers absolutely bent over carolina and did them dirty like a dog let's see who's gonna go on and win the stanley cup here in year number three mcdavid or your mom's a ho sebastian aho and the edmonton oilers are gonna get it done in game seven of the stanley cup finals over the carolina hurricanes three to two 
here in Carolina. The biggest upset since I don't even know. I mean, I know all Carolina fans were coming into this game absolutely riled up, waiting to see the Stanley Cup lifted on home ice. But this is revenge for 2006 as Connor McDavid has finally got it done. Winning his very first Stanley Cup of his career as Edmonton has not won a Stanley Cup in a long ass time. And of course, for the con Smythe, McDavid is going to take it home. Nine goals and 38 points. Absolute dominance. As here comes their captain and the greatest and the most talented player to ever live in Connor McDavid coming to lift the Stanley Cup for the very first time in his NHL career. Now, obviously, Connor McDavid is going to lead the entire NHL in scoring for the playoffs with 38 points. Sebastian Ajo was not far behind, and he also had 16 goals. Followed by Svechnikov, who had 37. Nylander had 33. Drysaddle, 32. Matthews was up there with 31. Marty Natchez had 31. McDavid is going to take on the Ted Lindsay and the Hart Trophy, while the Art Ross and Maurice Richard are going to go to Kucherov. The Norris will go to Kale McCarr. The Conn Smythe, obviously, to McDavid. The Vesna to Antti Ranta of Carolina, and the Selkie will go to Ryan O'Reilly. Riley. So somehow the Arizona Coyotes are going to end up finishing as the best team in the entire NHL winning 66 games. Yeah, that's definitely not a sentence that anybody has ever said, literally ever. Followed by the San Jose Sharks who won 63. Pittsburgh was up there. Colorado, Dallas, and Buffalo. Yet again, McDavid's going to dominate this time leading in points with 243. Drysaddle had 221. Breadman was up there with 215. Crosby had 204. Patrick Kane, 203. Caprice that was up there. Jack Hughes, Johnny Hockey. Now for the goal side, the leader is going to be Alexander Ovechkin with 102 goals. Followed by Kaprizov who had 100. McDavid had 97. Matthews, 92. Kucherov was up there. Line A to bring it. For defenseman, Roman Yossi is going to lead in points with 167. Adam Fox was not far behind with 161. For the goalie side, the worst save percentage is going to be Vili Huso with a 747. And the worst goals against average is going to be Jake Allen with an 8.31 GAA. That is just really terrible stats honestly and in the stanley cup finals yet again we have the pittsburgh penguins but this time they're up against the san jose sharks who somehow made it here i mean we had arizona and san jose in the conference finals regardless let's see who's gonna go on and win the stanley cup here in year number four and the pittsburgh penguins are gonna get it done yet again here in year number four as they defeat the san jose sharks in five games in the stanley cup finals it was really not that close i mean san jose did try their best and they tried to put up a fight but it was just not good enough. The Conn Smythe is going to go to Sidney Crosby. 20 goals and 53 points. I mean the closeout game was a 9-6 win for the Pen. so... I guess the postseason scoring was absolutely insane this year. The goalies were even worse. I mean, I don't know how they get any worse from a zero overall, but I guess they did. And here comes the captain, Sid the Kid Crosby. I mean, he's not a kid anymore, but he is a Stanley Cup champion. Now winning the Stanley Cup for, what is it, five times in his NHL career. Now, obviously, Crosby is going to lead the entire NHL in goals and points for the playoffs. He had 20 goals and 53 points. That is insane. Malkin had 45. Jake Gensel had 40. It looks like Pittsburgh was just way too good offensively. Jeff Skinner was up there with 32. McDavid, yet again, is going to take on the Ted Lindsay, Art Ross, and Hart Trophy, while the Maurice Richard is going to go to Ovi. The Norris will go yet again to Eric Carlson. The Con Smythe, of course, to Sid the Kid. The Vesna to Stolarz, who was on Florida, and the Selkie will go go to Ryan O'Reilly yet again. So at the end of the fifth and final season, the Arizona Coyotes are going to be the best team winning 69 games, followed by the San Jose Sharks, who also won 69, followed by the Pittsburgh Penguins, who have been good this entire simulation. Edmonton is up there, Buffalo, Seattle, and Minnesota. Leon Drysaddle is going to end up leading the entire NHL in points. Actually, him and McDavid are going to tie at 229 apiece. Like Kucherov's 206, Matthew Kachuk had 200, Kaprizov 190, the uh, the point scorers are definitely off the charts. We've had multiple 200 point scorers over the course of the simulation. Marshawn's up here. Haven't seen him the entire video. 193. Now for goals, Kyle Connor's going to lead with 100. Followed by Alexander Ovechkin's 96. Kucherov had 95. Now for goals, Kyle Connor's going to lead with 100. Followed by Ovi's 96. Kucherov had 95. Matthews was up there. Debrinkit was very good. For defenseman, Roman Yossi's going to lead with 168 points. And for goals, he's also going to lead with... Actually, 
actually no he's gonna tie with dougie hamilton who would each have 64 goals apiece and the worst save percentage is gonna go to cam talbot with a 748 and the worst goals against average gonna be also cam talbot with an eight goals against per game 842 to be exact yeah these stats are absolutely horrendous imagine giving up eight goals a game and playing in the nhl i don't think you would be playing in the nhl you'd probably be sent down but uh here in this nhl they cannot send them down they have to live with their awful goaltenders that they have and in the stanley cup finals for the fifth and final season yet again we have the pens here but they are up against the dallas stars instead hopefully pittsburgh does not take it home again i mean they've already won two in the video i would like to see a new team win it please but let's go ahead simulate and see who's gonna win the stanley cup in the fifth and final season of the video and the dallas stars are gonna do it they're gonna pull off the upset in the stanley cup finals of game six as they do beat them three to two and go on to capture their very first stanley cup of the video thank god i definitely did not want to see pittsburgh win it yet again they won two stanley cups already they've been in three sta actually four stanley cup finals they've only not been in one stanley cup final of the simulation so far they've absolutely dominated and jason robertson is going to take home the con Smythe. 23 goals and 39 points for the kid and here comes the captain jamie ben coming to lift the stanley cup for the very first time in his nhl career as the dallas stars are the stanley cup champions in year number five Now for the playoffs, Jason Robertson and Sidney Crosby are going to tie for points with 39, followed by Eric Carlson's 34. Malkin was up there. Rasmus Dahlin had a good playoff run, as well as Tage Thompson. Dreisaitl is going to take home the Ted Lindsay, Art Ross, and Hart Trophy, while the Maurice Richard is going to go to Kyle Connor. The Norris to Kale McCarr yet again for the second time in the video. Obviously, the Conn Smythe to Robo, and the Vesna to Lankinen, as well as the Selkie will go to Connor McDavid yet again. And that is going to do it for this video, boys. The Pittsburgh Penguins absolutely dominated the simulation they made four stanley cup finals winning three of them i mean they almost won the last one as well winning their third stanley cup of the video but thank god that didn't happen dallas pulled off the upset outside of that i mean we saw a lot of point scoring and as well as goal scoring i mean the points were up goals were up everything was up the goalies were down as they were all a zero overall in the game overall a very fun video to make let me know in the comments what i should do next leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed the video thank you all for watching and until next time don't be silly wrap your willy